Betty Negri. She's on Discovery Channel. She's on like uh, familiar, you yeah. know Ghost Hunters, oh. and she's like is that my, the one who works with Jack. She's Osborne? the witch that, um, and she cleansed Jill, Jeff's houses. You know how Jeff always cleans yeah. the house before he buys it. So she became one of my best friends, and she's actually my teacher in witchcraft. You know, I do like Wicca, and so we said we want to do a show called The Witches of the West Side. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> do you like that? Because I didn't realize you were a witch until just now. So. No, she – and as I, we were talking, I looked at my phone and she was te- DMing uh, – texting well, me. It's and like, I thought, oh my God, that's really funny. We were talking about you. As we wrap up – and you know what you need to do too with Jeff is you need to find out because uh-huh. like, what happened because Chaz Dean, who's been on this podcast, yeah. was back on Ch- his show – on and the then new I, one on Amazon? No, he was back on Jeff's radio show. Oh, like a couple recent, weeks ago? And then something, I think something already, I don't know, I think something, I don't want to spread it because I don't re- They're really good friends. I think, well, you know, they had the falling out because of Gage. Well, Gage took Chaz yeah. as a client. I mean, you, like, you have to understand, Ryan did the same thing. Yeah, you know, no, Jeff I would, gets the clients. And I then, would get and it. I, and that I, would drive I told me crazy. them my number one thing is do not date anyone who you work with. Or is a competitor, like Ryan was a decorator, competitor, because these things do not go well. Where Stuart's a chef, they complement each other. It's completely, Stuart's not going to, you know, design Chaz's house. It'd be like me taking a permanent co-host, which Mm -hmm. there's been things, and then like they're here, and I'm like, here are the keys to the kingdom, and then they start their own podcast. I would want to kill them. I mean, like, I don't think Shane. No, I'd want to kill them. I don't think Shane or Megan would do that to him. No, no. Megan was on, Shane and Megan are very loyal to Jeff. They are. He's and I'm, Shane's probably the best assistant he's ever had, I think. He loves Shane, right? Yeah, I love him. I'd steal him. I love him. I would but steal I, Shane. But I got to tell you this. Stuart, he is working really hard with Stuart. Like, you know, there's been – he said, I'm broken up. We're done. I'm happy. And then they're not because he's going to therapy and he's working really hard on Stuart. And I'm so proud of him because you people think everything's so magical. You no. watch the Bachelor people get married and you're like, oh, my God, they're so in love. Like, happy. And they're taking videos. And you have no idea the shit that is going behind the scenes because they're calling me. All these people on interne- on, the, on the internet call are calling me and going, hey, I'm, can I'm in trouble? Can I help? Like, you know, I'm helping Cheryl Burke right now. And um, Janet Kramer I helped right before she met this boy. Like you know, Cheryl. I was like helping them going, wake up. You are the deal. Get out of your insecurity. Like, I was really tough loving him. So when I see these things, like, where you think they're so magical in person, like, I'm not perfect with my boyfriend. I, I wanted to murder him yesterday. So... You, you I don't think they're uh, everything's no, great. That's why the, I'm single. I look at these videos. It's, it's all the pretty videos. Like um, Claire. Just yeah, it's got, all bullshit. Claire just got married today from The Bachelor. She just Claire posted. Um, yeah, she just got married. Who the hell did she marry? That guy. She, she married that guy, and that was like. Are you kidding f- me? And that was 15 minutes, right? Was that 15 minutes? About 15 or 10. Oh man! They just met, right? Didn't so, they like? Is that the same one she broke up with and back to the one from the did, show? She no, she met him oh, after Daryl, and now oh, okay. she's married, and I guess he's in Sacramento. Then with that's her. been like yeah. one. And they look yeah. like it's one, and they made the most beautiful video today. Oh no! It's 15 minutes of marriage. She doesn't look happier. She took her implants out. She's getting well. The whole thing, and I'm really happy for her. By the way, I don't know her personally. By the way, and so I just went, oh, everybody's gonna look at this video and think like life's like that. No, no. like I look at Hannah Brown, who I love. I love Hannah and. Adam, they're my favorite couple. And I want them to get married and they've been dating a long time. And then you look at them, they're taking their time. So don't look at these videos. Don't think you're a loser because they're getting this and you're not getting that. That's good advice. Anything you want to say before we go? Um, Happy Valentine's We're- Day. And if you're single, this is not for the people in a relationship that have something to do. If single, you're single, right have a girl's night. There's a rule in, in, in Valentine's Day, and it, you know we don't know about post-pandemic, but there's a rule in Valentine's Day. If you go out that night early, not at 8 o'clock when the dinner starts happening and the prefix and the, the popping the champagne and the getting the engagement ring, if you go like 5 to 7 and you go to the bars, the fun places they're hanging out, that men go to steakhouses, for instance, men who are out on Valentine's Day do not have girlfriends. And they will hit on you because they're in heat. They know that you're upset that you don't have anyone else. And if you go out with a smile and a cocktail and you just look pretty and you're just having a good time, you're going to meet someone. Get out of the house. Stop living online. I know the apps are there, but that should be only 25% of your search. If you don't ever get out of the house, you can't taste, taste, touch, smell. These senses are not involved. And Zoom does not count. You know, the like Zoom this. dating is not a real relationship. If you haven't met the person in person and you've been Zoom dating for a year, you're not in a relationship. That is a that is a pen pal relationship. That's all. Yeah. Good. So I want people to get out of the house on Valentine's Day. Do not sit and watch in front of the boob tube. Now, if you're in a place where you feel uncomfortable, 
Maybe you're losing weight. Maybe just from a breakup. You should have a girls' night. Stay in. Make some fun games. Apple has this new thing that David's son showed me. He's 22, where you can buy games on Apple and have like game night. Have you seen that? It's this coolest thing. I saw. It. I you, mean, ju- you just no, click. It's like I for ten dollars. It's like for ten dollars. You just click it, and there it is. So okay. Google that. It's game night. They have like all different kinds of trivia, all these things, and you put it on your television screen and you play games. You can do facials. You can order your favorite foods in and make your favorite cocktails and do a Galentine's girls in night. Okay, watch horror movies. Do whatever you want. But if you're not and you feel good right now, get out of the get house out. now. One other rule: those who travel in packs do do not attract. So if you're single and you're a girl, go out by yourself from five to seven and tell me if anybody, use my fragrance, look pretty. Use the fragrance. Look pretty, smile, put a breath mint in. Go out alone. And then sit at the bar, make friends with the bartender. This is all in my book, Become Your Own Matchmaker, Eight Steps to Get Married in a Year. So if you sit at that bar by yourself, minding your own business, even if the game is on, you can lean over to a man and say, I don't know what, I don't, what's the score or what happened here? Play stupid, dumb, even if you know football or whatever. Well, football's not going to happen until Super Bowl, but you know, whatever's on, like the NBA, whatever. I mean, you're right. Asking and the then wrong you person. sit there, you will get the one. Really? Because you're meeting in person, and now in person has become a novelty. In person has become, wow, I can taste, touch, and feel. They're more likely to ask you out than they would online. So sit at the bar alone, just sit in it. And one other thing. doing it. Two things, two little tips. And then we'll wrap up. And, and then we'll go. wrap up. Use the fragrance. I mean, I could stay here yeah. all day. Yeah, but I mean, have I have like 15, engineers 15, 15, and producers right. and okay. stuff. So use the fragrance. Use the fragrance. Okay. Then what I would do is wear. Put red nail polish on and wear a red dress. Red is man catching. It's magnetic. Even on Valentine's Day, that's not like trying too no, hard. No, it's not trying too hard. Really? Because why do you think Chinese New Year is all red? It is the most powerful, passionate, romantic thing. It brings prosperity in. They not always pink. have people. Oh, didn't you ever notice in in the Asian community they always have a red door or a red boot or whatever? Red is magnetic. You are drawing in people to you. You don't have to do any of the work. Just sit and smile. Do you know who also had a red door? Who? That Bethany Frankel over there in the Hamptons before she sold oh, that ha- one. Did she sell that house? I That house is so cute. Maybe she didn't. I, I thought, like that I thought house. She it's did. really cute with the little oh. pool in the backyard. I like maybe that. Maybe she didn't. I don't, but here, um, if you wear red nail polish, red dress, red heels, something red, he's going to come over to you and talk to you. Uh-huh. Smile and signal, smile and signal, five second flirt, smile and signal, and let them come over you. You don't have to do shit. Let them do all the work. The ones that do the work are the alphas. The one that sit there and smile at you and want you to come to them, they're the betas. Separate yourself from the men from the boys. The men will come over, the boys will sit and wait. And wear red, people. Right, wear red. Happy Valentine's Day to all. Patty, okay. you need, I mean, I'm here now half the time, so you got to come back. I need a podcast, really. We could, I mean, really, we should, we I could just, you I could, need a you dating could podcast. On, I have so much to do And you could also riff here. on pop culture. Well, this I, is a I good, loved, I'm, I'm you like, and I need to do like a regular show so where it's definitely. like dating and pop culture. Dating and pop culture. And, and you know what this I Bravo. love? I love to watch TV and give criti- critical okay. reviews. So I should have been a critic is what I really should I mean, been. okay, well, I'm going to have to make, well, we could have like a list of TV yeah. shows that we're going to talk about. Oh, right. I like this. But anyone who wants to get fixed up, go to millionairesclub123.com. If you're a millionaire or millionaires, DM me, gay or straight, doesn't matter, fluid. And if you're not, just go into the registration system and, I'll, and you'll be applied in to my system. Yeah. It's really simple. That's free, by the way. I love it. Right. Yeah. So millionaires. Millionaires with an out. S. One, Millionaires123.com. Or you can that. go in my bio. Everything is in my Instagram bio it or is. my TikTok bio. Everything. That's when I first heard about the fragrance until I met you for yeah. dinner and then I tried it in person and it's amazing.